How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword back again playing some more Brahalla for you guys today as always. Today we're going to be focusing on my highest win rate legends according to this website Brahalla Stats. I'll leave a link to this website in the description because this is a pretty cool website. You should look up yourself. You can see so many cool stats. So anyways, the reason I'm doing this video is because I'm actually working on another video in the background that's going to take me some time to complete. Uh, you'll, you'll understand when you see it, but I still wanted to give you guys some content to watch. So we're going to play by highest win rate legends, starting with number one, which is actually Volkov. It was Fate, uh, but now it's Volkov. Volkov, I have a 77.6 win rate. Fate, I have a 77.49 win rate. So honestly, if I played uh, just win a few more games with Volka, uh, Fate, she would be my highest, but whatever. It, it doesn't make a difference to me. My third highest win rate legend is Mako. So we're going to go down the list, and I'm just going to make ultimate teams in Strikeout. And we're just going to hang out, have some fun, and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, we got our first match going against Ya Boys. Oh, no, that's the clan. Uh, going against Young Bull AJ. Okay. He had Core, Sentinel... And I think Fate, I didn't actually catch his third legend. All right, here we go. Highest win rates on a team. I should definitely not lose, right? And by the way, I actually didn't really expect Volkov to be in my highest win rate. But at the same time, I'm not super surprised because he's just such a good legend. Ooh, I wanted to spike that down so bad, but I couldn't. What? You guys saw that hit the mine, right? Here, I'll throw him into it. Never mind, he threw his weapon into it. Got him with that side thing, not a problem. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Volkov is my highest win rate legend, even though I only have... Uh, I have a pretty low play rate with him, only 1.97% compared to Fate's 3.24%. But that little axe combo that I keep doing... Oh my gosh, it does so much damage. So easy to do too. If you, if you want to learn axe... Pretty much all you need to know is that side light. Oh, never mind. Here, I'll try to do it again. It, it it works best when they're in like low health, like white. Ooh. Never mind. We're just gonna take him out. Oh, that was a good time. That was another good time recovery, and he takes out. Volkov. All right, now we're going on to fate. Sorry, I didn't get to show you my axe combo again. It's all good. Kind of surprised I didn't hit with that neutral light. But that neutral sig is going to get the KO. Man. Fate is one of my favorite legends, too, so... Nice. I'll let us both get back up. How about that? Oops. That down sig, man. You gotta watch out for fate down sig. It's better than you expect, right? Ooh, goodbye. Goodbye. There we go. Out fate the fate. <laughs> GG, uh, Young Bull, AJ, GG. All right, let's keep going down the list. So I didn't get to use Mako, so let's start it out with Mako. Uh, instead of Jormungandr, we're gonna go this one, but what is this? Orca Mako, and then we're gonna switch up the Katars real quick. Um, let's go the Flame and Cinder. I love the sword though. So my fourth highest win rate legend was actually a shock to me because I don't play this legend very often. It, it is Scarlet. Scarlet, I have a, let's see, 75.9% win rate. My fifth highest win rate legend, Rayman. The man. The Rayman. 75.83% <laughs> win rate on Rayman. By the way, if you're wondering what my overall win rate is, like my entire account, 69% <laughs> is my win rate. All right, going against... Normal, who's got... Who is that? Bodvar? Bodvar... Wait. No, no, no. It's Taros, right? Taros, Bodvar, and somebody else. I forget who this... Who this guy even is. 
I don't really watch WWE, so I forget his name. Dog! Almost got him with that little side zig. Oh, it is Taros. I was so confused. All right. I thought it was Bodvar, then it was Taros. And there goes the disconnect. Ooh, that's sad. All right, we're not going to count that game because I only got to play Mako for like 10 seconds. So he disconnected. So let's just... I'm just going to Riku. 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 I didn't even get to use the great sword on Mako. We're not going to count that one. All right, going against Predwolf, Fate, Diana, and Petra on his team. Ooh, that's a good team. Those are three really good legends. <laughs> All right, we'll see how I do. Let's go, Mako. Dunk. Dunk! The double donk. All right, we'll try great sword a little bit. Somebody said my, I don't remember which video it was. They, they were saying my great sword doesn't look like a player who is diamond. I'm like, bro, I'm not the best with great sword, but I'm not the worst either. My gosh, okay, maybe I am trash with greatsword. <laughs> oh well. Oh man. Alright, Scarlet, my fourth highest win rate? Are you kidding me? Probably everybody's fourth highest win rate. All you gotta do is just like throw out SIGs every now and then, throw out light attacks. Scarlet's light attacks are basically SIGs because of how hard they hit. Wrong way, Lucian. Oh my goodness, the double ground pound takes out Scarlet. All right, well, we're on to Rayman. Rayman is fun. Hold that, thank you. Yeah, do it again. Do the side sick again. Oh, never mind. GG, dude, GG. We barely got to play Rayman there, so I, th I feel like we're going to start out the next game with Rayman. You know what I mean? That was pretty fun, though. GG, GG. All right, let's start it out with Rayman. My next highest win rate legend is Olgrim with a 75.54% uh, win rate. All right. Um, I'm going to go Jotun Olgrim. It's like one of my favorite skins. And then my next highest is Thor. I don't know why I'm the highest win rate with some of these legends, because I hardly play them, but... I mean, I say I hardly play every legend, but it's because I play all legends. So, like, I always feel like I don't play any particular legend a lot. But I guess I play them all a little bit, you know? Enough to be halfway decent. It is a little bit eye-opening, though, that, that Ulgrim is one of my highest win rates when I really don't play him that much because, you know, it just shows how good he is. You don't even have to play him that much to be good with him. Same with Rayman, man. Rayman is a sleeper pick. A lot of people don't pick Rayman for some reason. I mean, I know he's not the, the coolest looking maybe, or he doesn't have the best signatures. I don't know, but he has an axe and he has gauntlets. That combination is incredible. It's the only character in the game that has axe and gauntlets. All right, Rayman versus Rayman. I'm gonna let him hit me. There we go, because I got a little sword hit on him, or I mean axe. Get right back on stage so we can finish this out strong. Oh, he pulled a sneak attack. What? What? He sidestepped behind me and then he downsigged me? That was incredible. Well played, dude. Well played. Oh, goodbye. Okay. 
hologram. Instant revenge. Wrong way, Lucian. You gotta face the right way if you wanna hit somebody. Boom, boom, and then jump down. Boom. Okay, I can't hit an axe combo to save my life right now. Boom, boom. I can't! Oh my goodness, I cannot play right now. Boom. Even if you can't do the combos, you don't have to. You just gotta hit them more than they hit you. <laughs> That's about all it comes down to. You don't have to be fancy doing it. Though we all prefer to be. Ow. Bop. Yep. Don't jump into that chainsaw. It's, it's a doozy. Oh! The gravity cancel. Down heavy. Did he literally... Oh my goodness! What a ground pound on Ol Olgrim. Perfect ground pound on the Lance recovery. Nice played. All right, Thor. GG. Okay, we're gonna start out the next game with Thor. I, I feel like I'm not even playing that good with my top win rate legends. I mean, I, I am winning, I guess, but it doesn't feel like I'm doing that good, but whatever. We're still get the win. That's all that matters, right? Let's go, uh, let's go Undertaker this time. And then we're gonna go Vector for my next highest win rate legend, which is 74.81% on Vector. And Kaya with a 74.36% win rate, but we're gonna go Pearl this time. I'm not surprised on uh, Pearl or Kaya. I'm mean, sorry, <laughs> Pearl or Vector, Kaya or Vector, however you wanna say it. I'm not surprised on those two because I am pretty decent with Vector and I'm pretty decent with Kaya. Most of the time. Most of the time. Man, the Undertaker and Gala colors look so cool, too. He's usually always in black, right? But now he's all in white. White and, like, gray or whatever that accent color is. All right, going against E2 Good. Oh, I love those Charged OG colors on the Ash and Ragnar skin. That looks so good, dude. Be sitting there, Ragnar. Oh, the down six. Scoop de doop de doop. That's all it takes. You don't gotta be fancy, you just gotta hit the hit. Ow, I should not have done that. I knew he was gonna throw that bomb at me. Bop, bop. I did that purely to look at the cool purple graphics. Ow. How she got hit by that and did, yet didn't get hit. She plays a very interesting game. Oh! Through the bomb! Bop! Right on your head. Get out of here. I love the bell. Boom. Are we even going to get to play the other two legends? Okay, there we go. Vector. Oh, Vector is so fun. All right, here we go. Vector. Side sig! You gotta start out Vector with a good, strong side sig, man. That just puts some, some fear right into their hearts, you know? Are you kidding me? Mmm. Mmm. Feels good, man. If you get a KO, especially the game-winning KO with the Vector Lance down sig, that, my friends, is style. Because that sig is kind of hard to hit. Alright, moving on, moving on. We're going to go Vector 
because I didn't get to play his bow like at all. And then we're gonna go my next highest, which was Kaya. We didn't get to play Pearl. And we're gonna finish it all with my, <laughs> I can't even believe this, Taros. <laughs> Taros is my next highest win rate with a 74.02% win rate. I guess we'll go Gurugach. Gurugach. I always say his name wrong. If you guys enjoy the content, I really appreciate it if you drop a like. It really helps me out. And be sure to subscribe for more Brawlhalla content. All right, going against Pint Size Poultry with a Mordex Cross and Queen Nye combo. Hmm, that's really interesting. Like Mordex is the highest played legend, but then Cross and Queen Nye are very low played. So very uh, unique blend of characters on that team. I like it. Ow, dude, why are you bullying my vector like this? It's not friendly. Dude, I just want the bow. You're killing me, literally. All right, fine. Get you with that lance. Bam and six, that's a good sign. That means we're probably gonna get the, the kill. We could punish him. Maybe not, maybe not. Bombs away, poor Dex. Okay, that's death. Nope. Okay, yeah, it is. I shouldn't have dodged like there, man. Ah, I could have lived. Hey, give him, uh, give Pint Size some credit. He actually took out my Vector. No more playing around here, Mordex. Get off of me. Man, this pearl with these colors looks kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Man, I'm doing so bad with Kaya. No cross. You're not going to take out my Kaya. He actually almost made it back. And just like that, we take the lead with Kaya. 200 IQ play by Queen Nai. Oh, the side sig in my face. Goodbye, Queen Nye. I don't even know if she touched Pearl. Yeah, she did. She did. She got me with that side stick, I think. Alright, guys. Well, sorry I didn't get to play Taros, but I'm not even really that sorry about it because Taros is my nemesis and we don't talk about Taros. Anyways, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I'm working on a, a, a really interesting and kind of different Brawlhalla video, so, you know, look forward to that. <laughs> but anyways, thank you so much for watching. As always... This is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy, friends.